now to a survival story that is being called a true miracle. A woman falls down a 200 foot cliff, breaks her neck and survives and is even forced to walk to her rescuers. The accident happened on Christmas Eve during a hike in the San Gabriel Mountains. Tonight, Ruth Waranecki is recounting the moment her life changed forever. KTLA's Mary Beth McDay joins us now with the dramatic rescue, her fight to survive, and her long road to recovery. Mary Beth. Ah, uh, yes, Mike and Chair, a long road to recovery indeed. And the good news, though, is that Ruth was at the doctor's office today, and she is improving. Now, she credits God and those who rescued her from that windy mountain with saving her life. Imagine plunging 200 feet down an icy Southern California mountainside, breaking your neck in several places along the way, and surviving. A Colorado woman considers it a downright miracle. God gave me a second chance at life. 40-year-old Ruth Warrenecke was in the L.A. area administering to the homeless and volunteering in local prisons around the holidays. Then on Christmas Eve, she hiked up to Cucamonga Peak. The avid hiker was well prepared and kept checking in with family. But on her way back down, things got a bit icy. The crazy thing is that is my last memory. Fortunately, a tree trunk stopped her fall. Four hikers eventually found her bleeding and called for help. It took two hours for San Bernardino County helicopter crews to find her. But because of the severe winds on the mountain, it would take another two hours to rescue her. The crew managed to lower one rescuer onto the mountain west of Ruth. He hiked over to me and then he was informed that we had to hike to another spot about 200 feet away. Ruth managed to push through intense pain from her broken neck and the risk of paralysis and hike to safety. So I was holding my head as I walked along the side of the mountain until they were able to drop the cable and then myself and the rescuer went up together in one shot. The fall left her with a number of torn ligaments and tendons in her legs, big gashes in her head, chin, and face, which required more than 40 stitches. And a doctor had to perform a very serious surgery to repair her neck. And he put a screw in the upper vertebrae and then a plate and four screws in the uh, lower vertebrae here. Ruth, who works as a waitress to make money in order to travel around the world and help others, is extremely grateful to the doctors and those that helped her off that icy mountainside. God used you immensely to save my life. Now, Ruth tells me that when she does recover, she plans to travel back to South America and continue working with those that are suffering there. Cher? Mary Beth, thank you.